here first and foremost to support finding a cure for childhood cancer. It's been a life changer and a lifesaver. For me, this is an incredibly emotional moment. It's magical. At just five years old, Emily Whitehead was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. When Emily was diagnosed, I picked her up on day one and said, only the strongest children in the world are picked to fight cancer. And if you believe in yourself and you just keep fighting, you're going to beat your cancer. After beating the cancer twice, it came back for a third time. This time, it looked like she was out of options. At that point, that's when they said, unfortunately, it's probably time to take her home on hospice and she has a few weeks to live. You just keep thinking that there has to be something else, this can't be the end. That something else was CAR T cell therapy, which uses a patient's own immune system to battle the disease. Emily became the first child in the world to try the revolutionary treatment, and within a month, she was cancer free, and has been for the last five years. We truly believe that we received a miracle. Emily's success inspired the family to start the Emily Whitehead Foundation in 2015, which funds innovative childhood cancer treatments, one of the most underfunded areas of cancer research. We want a story that doesn't have harsh treatments like chemotherapy and radiation, and one that has better treatments and ultimately a cure for kids. I want to write the story that all kids will be able to go home and beat their cancer and keep believing in themselves and be able to live their normal lives just like I got to do. On October 28, 2017, the Whiteheads hosted the first annual Believe Ball. We'd like to thank you all for coming to our Emily Whitehead Foundation inaugural Believe Ball. 600 people from 15 states and Canada attended the event. Against all odds, belief in a positive outcome is what carried the Whiteheads through. Turning that spirit into this Believe Ball is a way to share that with other families who have gone through the same thing. Cameron is a CAR T cell patient, and we only enrolled in the CAR T cell program after several years of chemotherapy and radiation. We are definitely grateful for that opportunity. Our dream was to bring together all of the patients who had had T cell therapy. We just thought that it would be really impactful. To see all of these patients here, many of whom still have those engineered T-cells in their bodies on the hunt, keeping the cancer away. The only CAR T patient that I have met prior to this event is Emily herself. Running into the other patients today, it's been very, very exciting. It gives me goosebumps. I feel amazing about the Believe Ball. It's really incredible. Everybody was so generous with donations because everybody wants to write a better story and they know this is the best way to do it. People are loving it. Everyone's celebrating the fact that they can actually have something to do to overcome cancer. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. Everything from the dancing to the food to the silent auction. We are just having the best time. It's a great way to have a good time but also really get back to an important cause. In one night, the Emily Whitehead Foundation raised $450,000, and they're not stopping there. Never thought this could actually be uh, globalized. It's now treated people from more than 11 different countries. People should support the Emily Whitehead Foundation because she really was the, the pioneer for this treatment. Your support and contributions tonight keep this team moving forward, and I honestly can't think of a better organization and team to support. It's been amazing to see it all come together and just a really inspiring night for so many people to be able to see what the future looks like and how many more children we can cure. Her story inspired me and gave me the motivation to keep fighting. We're the Whiteheads and we're trying to write a better story for everyone fighting pediatric cancer. Let's write a better story together. Visit www.emilywhiteheadfoundation.org to see how.